the Pentagon, the heart and soul of the U.S. Defense Department, headquarters of the U.S. Defense Department has never been attacked before. A portion of it is now in flames. We go to Bob Schieffer, our chief Washington correspondent. Bob. Well, Dan, to give you some sense of just how big that explosion was, I'm about a block north of the White House, some miles from the Pentagon, but as you look over my shoulder and look directly across the old executive office building, you can see there are still these huge clouds of smoke uh, billowing out of the Pentagon. This was no small explosion. It can be seen literally for miles. Dan, I must say, if there is one thing you can say for America and the American people, they come together in times of crisis like this. Just now, we got a joint statement from the Republican and Democratic leaders uh, in the Congress. I want to read to you what they said. They said, quote, and this is Tom Daschle and Trent Lott speaking in one voice today, not two voices, speaking in one voice. They say, we are outraged at this cowardly attack our prayers are with the families of the victims. We are strongly behind the president. The full resources of the United States government will be brought to bear to protect the American people, and perhaps the most important part of this, and to punish, to track down and punish the perpetrators of this attack. This is being seen on Capitol Hill as another Pearl Harbor. John Warner, the uh, ranking Republican on the Armed Services Committee said just that, Chuck Hagel, another, another very uh, influential senator on defense matters, said today America has been forever changed.